Got it here, another all light flashlight attachment. As you can see, it charges with a magnet. There is no actual plug. So let's open it up, see what this gadget about. A light is pretty cool. They're constantly developing new and new attachments and gadgets and flashlight. So as you can see, this one is like carry on, everyday carry little um, charger. And it looks like it comes with a long wire, nice. So you can plug it in in the car, the newer cars already have the plugs, or you can plug it in into the different things and into the wall, but boom. Plugs in like that and charge your flashlight or light flashlight. And as you can see, it's everyday carry charger. That's the connection for it. So easy, not gonna break. And once you're done with it, you just plug this in and look at that. Just kind of turn it this way and wrap it all the way around. That is cool. The fact that there's a light making its own accessories makes it even better boom that looks nice so that way you can bring with you your flashlight and a charger so that way you don't just wrap it around and it's like kind of making a mess inside your backpack or even breaks that way it's neatly sits in there and tight looks good and easy next i got here zippo power cord 550 and it looks like it's a fire starting thread ignites with spark Okay, cut a piece off, and then what we'll do is grab it and pull this whole thing out. Boom. One inch of cord is 30 seconds uh, burn time. So the more cord you have, the longer it will burn, I guess. But you're just gonna fluff it up a little bit. Then I'm gonna get my striker and give it a spark or two. And there you go. Oh, it kind of lit up. Oh no, it's still burning. That's it. So it really does uh, takes a few sparks and it burns for 30 seconds. Pretty quick burn out though. So you might have to take out a few inches to get the fire going. But it is kind of nice to have something that is burns for 30 seconds to get it with a spark and then get a little grass going and get the grass on fire. Then I got it here Brightest Pocket Flashlight. This is 4000 lumens. There's a burn for it. Let's see what's about. Wow, that is small. I can't believe that is 4,000 lumens. Look at that light bulb. Looks like there's a protected film. Don't forget to take off the protected film with these powerful flashlights because it will melt into it. Happened to me once. Let's plug it in into the power bank and then plug it in right here. Let's see if there's any indicators that is charging. There's a display showing charging. So display actually pretty good. Focus camera. Then we press double. That's 4000 lumens. And it is bright, look at that. That's a completely dark basement. This is a regular light. Double. Boom, overexposure. This is 20 lumens right here. And it's bright. I love it. That's 2000 lumens. You know what? Whenever you run it on 2000 lumens, it gets really hot quickly. So I'm probably rarely gonna use it on 2000 lumens. Oh, boom, the battery almost dead. But yeah, 4000 lumens right here. It is incredibly bright. Press it once, 20 lumens. Yeah, probably be using 20 lumens most of the time. Emergency, just for few seconds, maybe 30 seconds to see what's going on. Then drop it down to 900 lumens so it doesn't get so hot. Then I got it here, solar camping stove. Really tiny and compact. You know those fire pits are really big. So it's been a while since I've seen what this thing is about. And yeah, this is really tiny. I don't remember them being that small. I think I put to the test one of these before a long time ago and they were much bigger. You see solar stove and it's highly ventilated. The holes from here, holes over here. You know what, let's put it to the test, see how it's going to burn. So I use this pellets we can use for camping. 
Then we'll put one of these high output dry fills as a fire starter. That will get things going pretty quickly. Still my favorite is the Zippo Storm Matches. A little bit overkill, but you know what? We want to just use one match to start a fire. And that way we're going to make sure it's waterproof. Get it going. We're going to set it right onto the dry fill. See, as you can see, burn time is not the best. But once it burns out, you still have a little bit of time of burn. But looks like our dry fill is burning already. After a few minutes, the wood chips are starting to burn. Look at that flame. You'll have no problem get the boiling water boiled and cook meals. And it's only a handful of pellets. And you see how it burns kind of like from those side holes. It's beautiful. I love that layer stove. Got it here, mini kitchen carabiner clip. So as you can see this side here, carabiner with this folded material. It feels like a titanium. Look how well it stretches. It's quite nice. So then it comes with the keychain in. You put your keychain over here. And it's a quick release carabiner. You can put other stuff in here as well. Just uh, push it through and lock it in. And also you just slide it in into your belt or into your pocket. You don't have to put the carabiner toe. So I got it here belt. Just lock it in. Look, it sits there so good. And if you need to take something off real quickly, easily put it back in. Very easy. Slide it in the whole thing. No big deal. I like that little carabiner. Super cool. Push it through, take it out. Okay, right here, everyday care pen, multi-tool. Looks like comes with a few different attachments over here. This is just a uh, replacement pens. Comes with the batteries. Okay, this is just extra batteries. Oh my goodness, this is a very bright flashlight. That's cool. So, looks like a window breaker. Wow, so I thought there was a pen, but the pen is actually right here. You unspin it, and the pen is right here. That's cool, so you can spin it this way, make it longer, so you still have a flashlight. I love it. And the pen is right here. And whenever you want to have a, like a window breaker, flip it over this way. Uh, this comes off as well. Let's see what happens in here. A fire starter or something. There you go. Okay, there's a multi-tool. Fire starter maybe, bottle opener, a wrench screwdriver i guess that's it it's actually a setup in place so quickly a multi-tool in here this is replaceable if you want to put in something else i guess this is a cheaper one got it on amazon that's a brand of it 